What is up guys, Rekus here with a new video and today I want to give you guys my whale or spender's guide for AFK journey. Basically, I will give you my idea on the packs, on which packs are especially worth buying or are give you uh, the most value and uh, which things you in general want to go for in the early days, in the starting days of your account on AFK journey, on the official servers. And uh, I've now played the week, most consider me a whale by now, I guess, even for my old videos, of course, if you know my earlier videos, you know my general playstyle. Um, and uh, I was quite successful, I was quite happy with what I achieved, I was placed 1 in PvP most of the time in my first week, uh, got at least top 5 on uh, the Dreams Realm bosses that I fought, so... Uh, that just keeps improving and I'm very happy with the progress. So I think I can give you guys a pretty good idea on which packs you will want uh, in the early days of your account. So basically, um, if you really want to start an account and you want to uh, whale from the beginning, then there are a few things that you need to take note of. And the first really important thing that I want to show you is... Uh, buying dragon crystals and dragon crystals are the currency that you use in the trolley which is the item shop uh, for most of the packs you can see here there is the symbol for dragon crystals you would buy this pack with dragon crystals we can look at the purchase uh, tab and in there you will find the currency selection for the dragon crystals you can see 3000 dragon crystals 119 euro um, and there is a better way to buy those and i want to make you aware of that um, and this is not in the client itself so let me show you that so what you see here is the Pluto Mall. The Pluto Mall is also advertised by AFK Journey on their website and in on the Discord server. So it's quite an official thing. You can uh, look at that yourself. And what they currently do is they run a promotion where you get 5% extra Dragon Crystals. So compared to in-game, you will, for the same price, just get 5% more Dragon Crystals, which will allow you to buy 5% more packs. So 100% better to go in here, lock in with your regular game details, everything normal, and buy the packs here. You will get them delivered in-game uh, instantly. You can also buy the other packs that are in there, like the monthly packs and everything. You can also buy that here, though there is no discount on that currently. There might be in the future, I was told, um, but right now there isn't, so you can check that out. Get the extra 5%, make sure you get that. So this is the first thing. This is the way you should buy Dragon Crystals, not in-game. Um, the other thing is the Farlight Pass, and the Farlight Pass um, is made by Farlight Games, which is the developer of uh, of AFK Journey, and you can log in here every day, collect points, and there are sometimes free bundles that collect uh, include in-game loot, we can check that out, so, uh, switch to AFK Journey, and depending on your in-game tier, which is like a VIP level, um, you can buy it or get different packs, you don't have to spend for those. Uh, I got two invite letters, five epic invite letters, without having any big state or any big VIP state here. Um, limited time bundles included a birthday bundle for me, which was pretty nice. I, my birthday was in February, so it was quite some time ago, but it was nice that I could still claim it. Five invite letters, we take that. And then you can collect points, and those points can give you pretty good items. And the one that you really want to save up for, probably the Stellar Crystals, would look at later what they are and why you really want to have them but you can buy some packs in here or get some packs for free so make sure you check that out make sure you know about this and with that we can hop back into so in here when we start the item shop is actually a bit limited um throughout the story you will get um, more tabs in here i couldn't quite figure out the point where it was um but you will see that we will compare it with this account and my main character um what you see here is, of course, uh, a diverse bundle of packs. We see the first free pack, obviously get that. And then we see different things in here. The first two packs that I want to point out are those artifact bundles, both of which are pretty great. Um, you will get those artifacts later in the story as well, as you can see. But um, this one, especially the Confining Echo, is one of the best artifacts to clear the campaign with because it locks down the enemy in place and they can't attack you during this lockdown. Er um, Every so often, basically, this triggers, locks down the enemy, they can't do anything, you can attack them easily. So this is basically just a straight up buff to your team and will be very helpful. So I recommend you just get both. On top of that, there are also summons in there and summons are the number one thing that you need um, 
in the early game, in the mid game, late game, all the time really, you want summons. And you have 10 uh, normal invite letters, which is the basic recruitment resource in here. And you have 10 epic invite letters. And uh, we'll compare those in a second. And there is also a third kind, the rate up um, invite letter. So let's take a look at the mystical house where we actually use them. This is a noble tavern. Um, and we can see the price pool here. Our rate up hero in the rate up event is at 3%. A level hero 10%. Um, so this is basically the rate up thing. If we do 10 uh, some here, it's 3000 diamonds. And uh, for the, compared to the all hero recruitment, we can see all hero recruitment uh, lower rate for the S level hero that we saw. Vala there was actually higher, but we have a significantly higher rate at the A level. And a lot of A level heroes are very useful in this game. OD here, for example, one of the best damage dealers against bosses. So you get a lot more, more heroes from all your recruitment. And actually, those are a bit cheaper. It's 2700 for 10 bombs. So compared to the 3000. But really, that is the big difference there. Rate up invite letters, I would say, are basically the same value as normal invite letters. Epics, however, if we check out the price pool there, 5.22% for the epic hero recruitment, where we also have our wish list, so we can designate some heroes that we get. Um, very, very, very nice if you want to go for high tier heroes. We get a little bit lower chance on the A level ones, but also here we have Omni Acorns. And here we have faction acorns. Big difference, actually, when you want to upgrade your heroes, then the Omni acorns are a lot better. So epic um, invites are more valuable than our normal ones and also more valuable than our uh, rate up ones. Rate up ones, uh, if you spend on the game, the, the uh, rate up banner is a nice way to actually progress. So you want to maybe even go for that, especially if you spent a lot in the early game, I spent like, I think, uh, 600 in my first days um, and I got I got all of the Vala copies in there which is very good because Vala is a great hero and if you spend uh, you won't have any disadvantage from going for the banner so that is pretty nice Stargate Station as you can see here is uh, locked recruit in any card pool 400 bit of a bad description what they mean is you have to use 400 uh, summoning tickets or invitation letters uh, combined over all of the pools so if you do 200 rate up, 200 all hero recruitment, that is 400, that is fine. Uh, if you mix epic recruitments in there, also fine, just have to get to 400 and then you get into the Stargate Station. We're going to check out the Stargate Station in a second. So, which packs other than the two artifact packs should you buy? Um, I also bought this one. It's pretty good because you get 70 epic invite letters, which is a ton. You get 2700 gems, which is basically another 10 normal ones. And then you get this selection chest, which gives you an instantly a great hero because there are three great heroes, at least in there. Temesia is great. It's a great damage dealer. We have Smokey as a healer with buffs and uh, Thorin as a tank um, with also pretty good damage. So those are also to get those at the beginning, also pretty great. Um, that is a pretty good pack. And um, by the way, you see this designation up here, value 800%. It is not always super precise, but it gives you a general idea of what you have there. And um, most of the time, it at least shows you if this is like considered a higher value pack or a lower value pack. And this plays a role if we compare um, limited packs to permanent packs later. Because this game doesn't necessarily limit you on the amount of items that you can buy. In theory, you can buy infinite summons. But at one point, you will run out of limited um, uh, limited packs. And then you will have to resort to permanent packs. And those have a lot less value for the money that you spend uh, than the limited packs. So this is really the thing. You're looking to get the high value packs first. Then you go for the mid value packs if you want to spend more. And the permanent packs, I personally try to keep my fingers from them because they are just pretty bad value. Also got the newbie recruit bundle, 1250, basically 50 recruits, 1250 gems. Very, very nice. We can take that. And free stuff, we always take that, obviously. And monthly, we are looking at 12,000 gems. Yes, 3,500 percent value. Don't know if I would share that thought, but 12,000 gems are very good. And 70 summons are good as well. So both of this is a yes. Other than that, right now, we don't really have anything that we can buy here. Um, 
you also have this VIP level in here, which, which will unlock some bonuses for you. So um, max AFK time, some uh, instant AFK attempts, which are very, very helpful. You will progress through there um, while buying packs, obviously. So um, no need to really explain that a lot more. The only thing that you might want to know is uh, if you if you purchase the Spiria monthly stuff, you see there is Mithril points in there. Basically, one Mithril point is one VIP XP. So um, that's uh, good to know. And if you want to purchase Dragon Crystals, you get one VIP XP per Dragon Crystal that you purchase. So this is 3000 VIP XP. Um, that is also maybe interesting to know. So let's switch to my main account and see uh, what packs are available there. So my main account is currently at about 2 million power in total. Um, as you can see, Dream Monarch was in like all of the top rankings for most of the time. I'm not sure if I'm currently still in there. Let's see. We are placed two in um, PvP. I can I can hold that for the longest time and uh, still have to do my dreams or my attempts, so we'll have to check that out later. Um, but here now we have some packs that are very interesting. The first pack that I want to show you is the Secret Travel Log, which is not actually in the shop. It will pop up as an item on its own. It's basically a battle pass. Um, in the way you play quests, you do those quests. You have daily, weekly, and those epic quests that you do, and this will give you progress in this travel log. And the tra fun travel log is always unlocked, and it's pretty nice. You get some nice stuff in there, but you can already see a nice comparison actually here. Um, 350k training manual here, 1 million 50k there, so triple the loot there. Um, and so 75% of the loot is, is locked in the secret travel log. Um, they give you two ways to buy the secret travel log, and uh, some people were confused by this, so I will clear this up. Um, we first of all have the secret travel log uh, right here with the 3000%, and this 3000% secret travel log um, actually includes all of the loot we saw on the right side. So this is all in there, and um, it costs $15. Um, and the other one, the legendary secret travel log, costs $31. So it's a lot more expensive, but there isn't actually a lot more in there because it does, this doesn't add too much loot. The only loot that this adds is actually the epic invite letter and it adds the fairy path, um, which is just, I think, a frame for your avatar. So not really a whole lot. The only extra thing is it increases the 20 milestone level now, which means you will instantly get 20 level in here without having to complete any quests. Um, I usually would say you want to definitely get this. The secret travel log is definitely insane. For some people, the legendary secret travel log can be interesting. And I would say it is interesting if you quickly want to gain power. And I would say this mostly fits for people that go on the new server to be highly competitive. And in that situation, this those 20 milestone levels will be a huge advantage. You buy this day one, you get the 20 milestone levels. We can check out what is in there. And there are a lot of upgrade materials that you need to upgrade your heroes in there. We have some gold, we have some training manuals, we have even hero essence. You will get all of this stuff. You instantly put this on your heroes, um, gain a ton of levels on them from the heroes you just summoned, maybe with some extra summoning packs, go into the AFK um, levels, Clear as much as you can and you instantly have a ton of loot that you automatically gain over the next days, weeks. And you go into Dreams Realm and maybe get place one on the boss as well. So there it can be pretty huge for everything, everybody else that goes to an older server or something like this. Just get the normal secret travel look and you will be fine. But you should get it. It's very, very good. Um, from now to the packs, actually. Okay, packs. You can see basically the ones that I told you that are good, I bought. Um, this one is actually quite decent as well. I didn't go for it. Um, I, I don't particularly like this chest. Um, decent heroes in there, not too great. Um, but it's it's okay. It's 15, it's five, uh, 15 epic invite letters. You could get that this one as well. Um, beyond that, Asperia Monthly, obviously I got that. Growth Bundle is one that we didn't see. Uh, this is also very good. It takes some time to unlock because you need to reach AFK stage 951. So it's not really an immediate thing. Um, I guess if you are within the first days, I think I think within the first week, I mean, half of that you get basically. So it's still a ton of summons. It's a ton of gems uh, that you get. It has no time limit, so you will unlock it eventually. 
and for the price that it has it is it is it is pretty a pretty good bundle then we see the limited bundles and now Basically, once the game this unlocks this to you, you see a ton of new resources that we didn't see on the other account. And the first one of this is basically the Acorn, the Acorn, the Omni Acorn. We have Faction Acorns and Omni Acorns. Um, every second level on an S tier hero, um, with exception of Celestials and Hypogen heroes, um, you will need Acorns to upgrade instead of further hero copies. And you can either use the faction specific acorns or you can use Omni acorns, which substitute if you have a lack of those faction specific acorns. So you will need a lot of Omni acorns actually that you get from Epic Summons, as we just saw. So um, this is one of the resources. The other one, Tidal Essence, is used to upgrade your hero focus skills once you reach a specific level on your heroes. I think it was Mythic. Um, you can actually upgrade one of your skills with Tidal Essence. Once you reach Mythic Plus, your hero will get a weapon and equipment, it is called. It's like the weapon for most. And um, you can upgrade this with Tidal Essence for the first five levels and then Temporal Essence for the next levels. Um, and this is actually quite draining at one point. Like, I think I got there on day three, basically struggled to upgrade my, my weapons. And then it... I recovered a lot of Tidal Essence through PvP and Stargaze Summons, which we are going to look at in a second. Um, so you can buy this. It can be helpful at a specific point to just spend those 320. It will give you a nice boost because those weapons actually give some pretty valuable bonuses on some heroes. So it uh, can be good to buy this, but it is definitely optional. I would not buy this, by the way. I mean, you can buy a ton of those, but... Yeah, it's basically just one A-level hero and a few acorns, so I don't know. No, it doesn't feel, doesn't feel too great. I'm looking mostly at hero recruitment stuff. We can, uh, we have this hero recruitment bundle too. We have this hero recruitment bundle. Um, we already designated the difference between rate up invite letters and epic invite letters. Um, usually I would go for epic invite letters. I would go for epic invite letters and then spend the gems maybe towards the rate up. Uh, if you spend enough, that is, usually you want to have your first Supreme Hero still within the rate-up event so that you can get all eight copies of Vala from that. Uh, if you manage to do so, Vala is pretty great. If you can get at least, I would say, six copies maybe, yeah, six, seven copies of Vala, um, then, then she's pretty great. A lot of fun, one of the best uh, heroes that I still have. I, I love using her in my team. She nukes. Uh, you can find some videos of her in my other videos. That was pretty nice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, you can find some clips of her in there. And uh, she always does well. She does a lot of kills. Uh, pretty good boss damage dealer as well. So that's nice. Um, so I re generally would more uh, mostly recommend going for those uh, recruitment bundles that include the epic invite letters. Those are also right. The combinations, um, the rate up recruitment for this has one advantage and that is actually that you get soul stone s level you get basically two soul stone s levels those are random those can be any um any s tier hero basically uh you will get a copy of them um so that is the advantage here but i would say uh, the 150 acorns here basically compensate you for that because that is a ton of omni acorns that is easily enough to do one upgrade on a hero so uh also pretty great permanent bundles Let's take a look at those. They are, they are basically bad. You can see 250% value. And if we compare those epic recruitment bundle, let's just take this because this is a nice example. 10 epic invitation letters, 1,120 gems. If we go into the limited bundles, um, and this one was 1,400 basically. Let's look for a pack that basically costs the same. Uh, we have, ah, this one is pretty close. So 1,650, a bit more expensive. We can actually take the 980. Let's take the 980. <laughs> 20 epic invite letters. We have uh, normal invite letters and 980 gems. So slightly more gems in here. But here we have 10 more epic invite letters. And we have the 10 invite letters, the normal one, which are worth 2,700 gems alone. So uh, this one is way cheaper, has way more epic invite letters and even basically more gem value. So don't buy permanent bundles. Uh, this becomes... I would say a bit attract more attractive when we talk about Stargaze Station now. Stargaze Station is the 
other summoning method that we just looked at. And this is re required to get Hypogen and Celestial Heroes. And the Hypogen and Celestial Heroes can be quite good. The first one I went for is Rainier, which is one of the best support slash damage dealing heroes in the game. He has interesting abilities like switching a, a, a hero to the other side of the battlefield or taking enemy into another dimension and just completely uh, taking them from the battlefield. Insane abilities, very strong. And a lot of those heroes are very special, very strong compared to their regular counterparts. Not like you necessarily have to have them to do good in the game, but having a Rainier certainly makes the game a bit easier. So if you wail, you tend to go for those. And those summons here, they need Stellar Crystals. And Stellar Crystals, you can't buy for gems, recruitment store, guild store or trolley. So um, yeah, you are a bit limited on those and the packs that you can get are basically the best way to get them. And they uh, in here you will find not only um, the Temporal Essence, uh, you will also find Tidal Essence, by the way, Ruinstone, Dazzling Stone, okay, uh, and a ton of gems if you are lucky. So pretty good stuff. 3.25% um, chance to summon uh, uh, one of those heroes from Stargaze Summon, and every 40th uh, summon is guaranteed to give you one. So um, those packs, I went for a lot, actually. I went for a lot. I really wanted to have those heroes. Uh, and Forza will help you later. And in the limited bundles, you will find the Stargate Station bundle, which I definitely recommend buying. This is pretty good. Can't, sadly, can't really see that here. Uh, in the weekly bundles, we also have a Stargate Station bundle that is pretty good. And those have decent value. Bi weekly ones are a bit better, but the weekly ones still decent at 500% value. And you will see that that basically reflects here. Um, the permanent ones, not that great. But it is, it is kind of tempting. Like if you know, okay, I have to wait like one or two weeks until I get my Rainier to Supreme Plus and there is like a pack I can buy that includes 20 Stellar Crystals. Yeah, I know how this can be tempting, but it doesn't say 200% value there for no reason. It is pretty bad, so don't go for the permanent bundles. Uh, every Stargate Station bundle though is decent. And with that, we are already at the last um, bundle that is in the game and you can find those right here every now and then you will get a pop-up like this I currently have only this one to show um, most of those bundles that look like this I didn't really go for but there are others I don't really have a screenshot of those sadly um, every so often when you upgrade a hero you will get a pack that offers you a copy of that hero and some summoning items those can be decent uh, those can be decent they have some pretty good value ones um, usually costs 1,250 gems, um, depending on the copy. There are some uh, some with like Rainier and Stargaze Crystal as well. Can be very good, very, very tempting. Uh, often went for those when they were available, at least if there was a hero in there that I wanted. Like uh, they offered me one with Cessia. I went for that, obviously got a few epic invites out of that. And uh, this is something that I can recommend uh, if you are a spender, if you are a whale as well. Um, so general takeaway from all of this, um, the, usually the packs that just feature a price are pretty much worthwhile. They are often very, very good. If they are dragon crystals, then the value basically gives you a good idea on this one. I don't know. It has super high value. I, I don't really feel it. I, I'm not sure. It's, it's just because of the price. I think that's 20. Um, on the other stuff, just go for the packs with the high value first and then the ones with the lower value. This is really a good indication to show you what there is. Um, you shouldn't. You should still have to prioritize your items. Maybe you don't need this Ruinstone bundle, but the uh, Stargate Station bundle might be pretty good and might be worth getting, even though it has like 500% value, and this one has 600% or 650% value. So keep the um, the prioritization of the items that we made in your head. Um, they are important. And I think if you do a ton of summons early on, keep your resources in check and don't forget to actually play the game, you will do quite well. Playing the game still super important. All of the spending is just a tool that you need to do well in other game modes. It will be very important that you do your dream realm every single day and that you get good scores there because there is so important loot in there. Got place five and place five here. Oh, I still have to do something about that. Okay. But 1 to 10 is the same anyway. You get your title essence here. You get some title. You get uh, your 
uh, dream fragments in here so get all of that loot make sure you get the free loot make sure you improve your afk levels and uh use your spending to make progress there okay with that <laughs> i hope you like this video uh, I hope you, it helped you a little bit in understanding what you need to spend for and what can help you. And uh, I hope you subscribe to the channel. And with that, I wish you a great day. We'll see us in the next one.